Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here and welcome back to another building video. Now this is the models that I'm going to be building from issue 24 of the Mortal Realms magazine. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are still collecting this magazine, if you have these models. Now there is quite a few uh, models this week, just 10. So we have the Grim Grimgast Reapers, the Lord Executioner and the Glaive Reds. Now I'm not going to build the Glaive Reds on this video because I've done that in a previous video so you can check that out. So we're just going to do the Lord Executioner and the Grimgast Reapers on this one. Uh, pretty, not too much trouble with these guys this week. The only problem uh, I have is with the Lord Executioner which it's completely gone past here now. But the only part that was tricky with that is the flimsiness of the skulls that go around it's kind of attached to his chest part that's extremely fragile actually you can see it here it hasn't gone past this and um, that is extremely fragile way more fragile than any of the other night haunt stuff so just be extra careful clipping that off and cleaning it up but the rest of it went together pretty easy there's even a little extra bit to put on the base of this guy and this is a tall model it's pretty high up i didn't think it was going to be that big but for a model that's only like i think three or four pieces and um, went together pretty well no problems at all now now, now we move on to the grim gas reapers now these are way more lights looking than i thought they were going to be and um, i think each one is only about four parts and i thought these were going to be trickier uh, to do because the skulls with the with the more modern games workshop models and um, the way they're sculpted is or the way they're designed is it's not really very basic the heads going at a certain angle and they have to kind of hold them right until the body puts in and it look like they, and these look like that this is going to be the problem with these guys but the heads fit it in perfectly and um, i think the second model uh, it wouldn't the body wouldn't connect in properly so i had to just take it apart again and push the head over a little bit to push it right over to the side and you can see it at the end of this one that was the only little issue i had with these and um, they're still fragile just like other night haunt stuff but these were pretty relatively pretty simple to put together there's not many parts there's like two body parts the head and that's it actually uh, apart from the guy with the bell he had an extra bell part to put in which i ended up putting in upside down so i take it off and put it back on properly again but other than that they went together really simple and these are really nice as well i kind of i didn't give these much of a look when i first got them i thought okay these are just like the chain rasts I didn't really think too much of them, uh, but no, I was wrong. These are really nice looking models. I really enjoyed it. Now, this is the guy I think I had a little bit of problem with gluing uh, the body together because it went in perfectly, not too much of a problem. But when I noticed that, um, now this is the guy. Yeah, this is the him. This is the guy with, it looks sort of there, but when I looked, took it back out and I had another look, it was like the top part just below or the back of the neck was fitting perfectly but the bottom part wasn't it was still out just a bare bare half a millimeter or something like that so i had to get like the gripper thing to hold it into place to make sure that glue settled to hold it in all the right places as well so this is the final guy this was number four didn't have too much of an issue with him went together really easily really quick slotted into the bases the slot bases weren't loose i really like it when they're not loose and um, it makes it so much easier putting them onto it and here we have the lord executioner now look how beautiful this model is he is really big and um, i forgot to mention like you know about the thing on the wood uh thing on his back with the noose on it um it really is a model that kind of tells a story when you're looking at it as well so i really liked him and um, he can be a bit fragile on that base there's only a very small part of him that's connecting him to the base so just be extra careful with him as well and then we have the other guys the the grim gas reapers which i really liked as well and um, pity there's only four of them for now but there was, it took me a while to build these because we did get uh, the glaive right the glaive right stalkers as well in this but these guys um i was wrong they completely look separate separately different from uh, the chain rasts so don't be afraid to invest in these guys a little bit more if you think they're too much if they're too similar to the chain rasts um no once they're built they're completely different but i really enjoyed putting these guys together the lord um the lord executioner was is an amazing model to look at once he's built i can't wait to get him painted and see what he's like all painted up so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below make sure to hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't and once again thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video